Okay, take three of trying to record the the controller settings. Um, to start, the controller I use is a Xbox Elite Series Two. Um, I really am in love with this controller because the amount of customization it has. Um, first of all, for my uh, button inputs, you know everything normal. You know, left stick to steer uh gas and brake here uh these back two paddles i uh, use those as the paddle shifter so the right one for up a gear left one for down uh these the paddles right above that i use those as turn signals sometimes and finally the last thing with this controller is the the thumbsticks so you know they're interchangeable you can you know, use a short one on the left or the, the tall one. I prefer to use the tall one on my uh, my steering one. And one other great thing with this controller is you can, I don't know if y'all can see it, but you can change the, uh, the tension of the controller with or the, the tension of the analog stick with this little tool right here. So if you take this little thing and I can do it. Take this little tool and, uh, and turn it. You can change the tension of it. I keep mine on the lowest tension, personally. That's what I prefer. Um, I actually get it. All right, I got it. I prefer mine on the lowest tension possible. And what that essentially means is that's the amount of force that you have to use in order to move a stick so mine just moves really easily like i don't just moves like butter i don't have to do anything to get it to move or barely anything to get it to move but that's all preference um and the last thing with this controller is this xbox accessories app this app is really good for customization as well that's how you get the uh the custom the custom binds with this and as you can see, I have some profiles set up here, a uh, settle instant, a settle smooth, and a settle delayed. What this does, um, or how I set mine up, is I changed the left stick uh, sensitivity curve. So instant means like as soon as you, um, like, you don't have to input that much to steer a lot um whoops i didn't mean to do that so with this like you don't have to i don't like i'm trying to test the stick out and it's doing that which is pretty dumb in my opinion but instant that makes it so that um if you move the stick a little bit it steers a lot uh the other one i have smooth um, I'm not really sure how to describe this one. It's sort of in between. Like, it's just like a really, it's just smooth. Um, then the last one, which is my preference, is delayed. Which might sound sort of weird. But I like this one because basically it allows me to only steer a little bit. Or... Like when I move my thumbstick a little bit, like it doesn't move that much. So I can be really, really precise with my steering. And what delayed also does is when you get like to the end of this curve, that's when like it ramps up a little bit. And that's when it starts to steer more. I don't know. That's dumb. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing where like it just moves like that. Oh, okay. Well, I fixed it, I guess. But yeah, like, as you can see on the map, like, I move it a little bit. Then once I get, like, past here, then it starts, like, accelerating more and more. Which, that makes me uh, able to just steer, like, really precisely on controller. And I love that. So that's really it. Uh, besides, like, the button mapping, which, you know, you can figure this out. That's really it for the Xbox accessories app. The next big thing with, um with steering one controller is your gamepad effects. Now I found this video a while ago. Um, 
and it had like some different type of steering effects or gamepad effects i know most people use the a7 assist which you know is really good you know it, it works for most people but i decided to try something different and i found this video of the pp3 steering effects so um, i'll link this video in the description there's a google drive link in their description and there's a lot of different um types of gamepad effects you can use here my personal favorite is this steer assist pp3 type x version 2.2 however there are also many other versions of this which you can use and i'll also show you how to install these um so let's do one right now let's try this one right here so i'm going to download this and let's see I'll also show you how to get to this folder where you can import it um downloads so you know first thing you'll do is extract this out of the folder folder and pretty much just copy this into this folder right here which i'll show you how to get to real quick so it is joypad assist lua extension all right so your main is set of course a folder and then go to extension lua and joypad assist and from here you can just drag and drop this in um, i already have this in here so i'm just going to skip that for now and then in here in a set of course in the gamepad effects when i have this extension active gamepad script active and your scripts will show up right here like i said before the ones that i prefer is actually uh this pp3 steering assist type x version 2.0 and version 2.2 2.2 is my personal favorite and finally is the normal controls as you can see i have everything set to the bare minimum um i, I don't know how or why it got like that that's just how it was for me yeah so the next thing i'll do is get in game and get y'all some footage of what this looks like in action um so right now i'm on the pp3 2.2 and I'm also on the delayed setting. Uh, Phil will stop lagging for two seconds. I'm on a delay setting on my uh, the Xbox accessories app. And so this is how it looks like. You can see the controller input. Like I'm barely using any input right now. Um, And it's just like I just love how smooth and like buttery it feels like i can just be super precise with the cuts i take so and you know the g80 is a big car so just really why like big track width but you can really just get like really precise with it um but now i'll switch to oh uh, lag spike one thing i don't like about this map like it just has random lag spikes now i'm on instant so with this with this about the same amount of movement uh the move the, the steering wheel moves a lot more with very little input um for this next one which is smooth which is the in-between uh i actually really like this one too i've been just on delay for a while so that's what i'm used to but smooth also feels really good if you have this controller see i'm getting too locked in already yeah, smooth feels really good. So, yeah, I definitely recommend playing with all of these settings, trying out of a different gamepad effects. If you have the Elite Series 2 controller, trying out of a different... Um, I don't know why traffic will stop right there. Trying out the different stick, um, the different analog stick settings and all that. Yeah, so, like, just play with all that and see what you like. And uh, also in game, you have these um, uh, controller tweaks right here. 
Um, I also play with this as well. If you don't have an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller, which I'm sure most people probably don't have it, or you have some other, maybe a PS4, PS5 controller, whatever works for you. But yeah, play with all of this stuff and, you know, fine tune it, see what works for you. This is just how I have mine and how I'm able to like steer so precisely on controller. Um, also, you know, it also depends on like if you're like heavy handed. So like if, um, like, I don't know, like when you play games, like you just tend to like move your thumb a lot or like you just use a lot of force. So yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff to play with a whole lot of factors that come into play here when it comes to your steering in this game. And yeah, like overall, this video is just try different, uh, try different things when it comes to your, um, your settings and just play with it a lot and fine tune it for your liking. But this is just how I prefer mine. This move is actually like really good. Let me go back to delayed. Um, yeah, delay can be a little bit dull, honestly, but it's super precise, which is why I love it. Yeah, and this G80 is just a beast of a car. Like, this thing will just, it just moves. So, yeah, that's how, like, that's how my steering also just looks so smooth, like, on the wheel, too, which that's another thing I really love about these settings is that you can make your wheel in game just look really smooth as well which is like a big part for me like i just like for my game to look as realistic and smooth as possible so, like now i'm just locked in playing as you see i haven't played in a while actually so i think i'm finna do a swim and chat video soon uh probably so i don't know what i'm gonna talk about quite yet but you know we'll figure that out and yeah um I hope you find uh, your perfect settings from this video and hope I can help some of y'all out and thank you for watching.